there he's safe? I'm sure, somewhere. <laughs> okay, what do you think of the shoulder pads? Two Jackie Collins. Jackie who? I do not know this man. Does Yassir get upset when you spend his money like this? His money? No, I have my own money. <laughs> there is an Islamic tradition. Oh, great, another Islamic tradition. That a husband must pay for his wife's material needs. Oh, great, another Islamic tradition. Of course, not every Muslim follows this rule. No, 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 you're onto something here. It's time for us to become better Muslims. While we're on this subject, there are many Islamic traditions. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I've been a convert all these years. How come Yasin never told me this? Who's to say? So that's why now you have to pay for all my clothes. Don't you already have one just like that? Well, you have two of lots of things. I mean, you have two of those. Those are bookends. Yasser, I'm glad you're here. Look, I'm not paying for your clothes, too. OK. <laughs> Actually, I was hoping you'd join my curling team. Does Islam say I have to? Islam has very little to say on curling. Good, then no. I also got some shoes. But you already have shoes just like that. These are newer. Sarah, mm -hmm. you must know how to curl. Oh, I get it. Just because I'm white, I must know how to curl, like all white people curl. <laughs> Do you know how to curl? Well, yes. Great. Oh, I'm going to need more money for a curling outfit. Fatima, did you tell Sarah I had to buy all of her clothes? You do. It's Islamic. Exactly. She wouldn't know about it if you hadn't told her. You have something against spending money on your wife? I mind wasting it. She buys clothes she already owns. She doesn't realize the blazer she bought today, she owns one just like it. So does Jackie Collins. Jackie Collins. Some man. So you mean to say, if you went through Sarah's closet, you would find two of everything? It's like Noah's Ark in there. Yes, Pearl's second-hand shop. I understand that you buy gently used clothing. Box, $1.75, $3.50. Total comes to $117.58. Done. I'd like my new sweater. It cost $100. Here is $117. And 58 cents. Thank you. Islam says jump. I say how high. My sweater? I don't know. Who cares? Mom, you go to the other end. Yeah. You sold Sarah's clothes? Why would you do that? Ah, teaching her a lesson. How can you teach her a lesson when she doesn't know you are doing it? She'll pick it up subconsciously. Look, every penny I make goes right back to her. I'm not even taking a commission. I'm doing this for free. Sarah loves to shop. This allows me to let her do what she loves to do. Plus, I get to trick her, which I really enjoy. It's recycling. Look, how long are you going to stare at me like that for? I like to see you sweat. OK. Given the choice between winning and being miserable and losing and having fun, I'd rather lose and have fun. <sighs> Well, it looks like you're in for a world of fun then, because I'm joining Fred's team. What? Is that my mom's summer coat? No, you don't have to shop in here. It's used. Oh, yeah, they've got great stuff. It'll save you money. Oh, money's no object. Let's go somewhere else. Wait a minute. This blouse. Oh, I love it. Will you buy it for me? Nice choice. It's uh, got your name all over it. Thanks. Good. It's literally got her name on it. I'll cut the tag out. Thank you. I've always loved you in that sweater. Oh, no, this is a new sweater. You must love me in something else. <laughs> no, no. I would remember. I'm not crazy about most of your wardrobe. No, this is a new one. The old one had a hole under the right arm. Just like that one. Darling, mm -hmm. have you 
seen my everything? Gee, honey, I'm the foggiest. Have you tried pearls secondhand? They've got some great bargains. You sold my entire wardrobe? No, not everything. There's still some stuff in the basement. Now, folks, I, I made a promise the other day. I, uh, I promised not to say anything nasty about your Muslims on this show. Now, I'm a man of my word, so uh, today, stay tuned for a repeat program. This is the best of Fred Tupper. That's a show from last week. Topic, things I don't like about Muslims. Well, it was worth a shot. You know, it's a good thing we didn't know each other when we were kids, because I could play marbles with the best of them. Is that right? Well, you know, I do still have my collection. Mm. I could break it out. Yeah. We could check. Don't ask. Could I have a, a coffee? 